Hello everyone. In one of my previous videos, we had seen how we can use sentiment analysis feature for reading customer sentiments about the product. And then we had also seen how we can use confidence score and the sentiment labels like negative, positive and neutral to get the gist of how customer feels about the product. So in continuation to that, today we will see how we can use sentiment analysis to read the opinion of a customer. So now in this case, opinion would be completely based on the key phrases which are like noun, verb and adjective. Here also, all the models used by the API are already present with the service and we are not going to do any customization in that apart from simply making a call, HTTP call with our content. And you might have came across this example if you have gone through Microsoft documentation. So this is the example of a feedback from one of the guests staying at the hotel. And what feedback says is, the room was great, but the staff was unfriendly. And like I said, opinion mining is part of sentiment analysis. And that's the reason we can get both sentiment analysis and the opinion mining response as part of the same response. So if you will look at this, the keywords which we can identify as the room, great, staff and unfriendly. So sentiment analysis would give you negative, positive or neutral, right? So here, if you will look at this particular statement, the room was great, but the staff was unfriendly. So it is inclined to more towards the negativity because it doesn't matter room was great, but still somehow customer was not that satisfied with the service provided by the hotel. And if you will look at the opinion, you will not go with complete sentence. You will work on one particular noun or the verb. So here room, if we'll talk about the room, room was great. So subject is the room and opinion was great. It means it is a positive sentiment. Similarly for staff, it was unfriendly. So it means it's a negative. So rather than simply saying it is a negative positive, we can break down our statement based on the various key phrases. Now let's have a look at how we can implement this. So first of all, we need to go to Azure portal and we need to create a text analytics resource. So once the text analysis resource is create analytics resource is created, you will get a key and the endpoint, which would look something like this. Now, next we need to start with our development part and there I have already created a small sample application which will be using key region and the endpoints. So this is the key which I have grabbed. This is the region where this instance was deployed and this is the endpoint which I have copied. So if you will go and look at the code, these are the three things which I have taken it from there. And this is the URI which we are using to make a call for opinion mining. So if you will not set this particular parameter to true, it will just give you the data for the sentiment analysis and not the opinion mining. And this is the example which I'm taking. So I'm saying yesterday it was too sunny, hence I enjoyed ice cream. And the language is English. Now to make an call, make a call uh, these are the two headers information which we need so one is the key and another is the region so I have set these two and simply making a call to this particular URI now if you will run this application I will quickly copy it so that we can read it properly so statement was yesterday it was sunny, hence I enjoyed ice cream. So if you will look at the sentiment, it is saying it is positive. But how about the opinion mining? So go to the sentences and here you can see that there were two sentences. So first one was yesterday it was sunny. By looking at the statement, we cannot say whether it is positive indication or the negative. Hence it is mentioned as a neutral. Coming on to the second sentence, which was hence I enjoyed ice cream. So here it is saying that its sentiment is positive and this confidence score is 1 which is 100%. Now why it is positive and on basis of what it has declared this particular statement or the sentence as positive is here. So you can see the assessment was done based on this enjoyed word. And here again the confidence score was 1. So hence ultimately we can say that he enjoyed the ice cream so is positive on sad but yesterday it was sunny it's okay I mean neutral nothing can be done or mentioned here whether it is good or bad 
Let's change the statement to something else. Yesterday it was sunny. I hate ice cream. And if I will run this particular thing, this time you may see that the opinion is having different results. So again, the first statement we didn't change, so it is it is still pointing towards a neutral sentiment. But next one, it is fallen in, under the negative category, and because we have added the word hate. See, the, it is negative because of this particular text and it is 98% sure that it, such kind of word in this context belong to negative. Now, let's make a small change. So, I don't hate ice cream. Okay, so in this case, we should get different result, although hate keyword is there in the sentence. I will copy it over here. Okay, so I don't hate ice cream and you can see that here sentiment is now positive. So although the analysis was done based on the word hate, but the context itself was inclined towards the positivity. So hence this particular opinion for this sentence is positive. So this is how we used to do the opinion mining and hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.